Well, good morning. I'm here with Councillor Paula Fletcher at uh, Danforth Collegiate this morning, and it's uh, a good news story, all good news, because we're really making great progress on vaccinations, but uh, the good news when it comes to people 12 to 17 is that 30% of them, 30% so far, and it just started a week or two ago, uh, 48,000 uh, kids of that age uh, have been vaccinated already, but this uh, clinic here, run by the Toronto East Health Partners, led by the Michael Garrett Hospital, which has done such a great job throughout uh, the pandemic. Uh, this clinic is meant not only for people who are of that age, but uh, it's focused on people who might be students here or at some of the neighboring schools in the East End. And uh, I'm just here to really show my support for the fact that uh, we're trying to get those younger people vaccinated as soon as possible uh, and to show my support for the Toronto East Health Partners who are putting this on. A lot of people working very hard today on a Saturday to uh, get other people uh, vaccinated. So we're encouraging people to come out if you're 12 years old or older um, and that goes all the way up. You can come out here and get vaccinated. There are walk-ups that are welcome uh, and there's a great team of people here to make it a comfortable experience uh, for you. We're making progress as a city, well over 2 million uh, vaccinations given now, but we've still got to keep going because uh, the higher up we get it, the more we're going to get close to that day when we can start to open things up uh, across the city. And so people have to come out. If you've uh, done it yourself uh, and you know somebody who hasn't, then maybe you could give them a hand uh, getting vaccinated. And I want to make sure I get this right here now. We have a, uh, uh, a text uh, capacity now to answer questions and help people get booked. And if you uh, text uh, the word vaccine to one 750 there's all kinds of information there about where you can get uh, vaccinated because uh, weekends are a good time to do this. Uh, people are working during the week, they're busy with the kids virtually learning, which hopefully will maybe come to an end as well and kids can get back to school, but uh, they're busy doing that sort of thing. But a weekend is a good time and there are clinics, 51 over the course of the weekend uh, being put on by different people. Uh, so there really is lots of opportunity to get vaccinated. I should tell you another a number here is uh, the kids 16 to 19, teenagers uh, 16 to 19 have done a fantastic job and 52% of them are vaccinated already. So we just want to get the rest of it done. So there's 30% of the 12 to 17 year olds, which means we got 70 to go. And there's 52% of the uh, slightly older teenagers. And it means we've got about a half of them left to do as well. So uh, please come out over the weekend. Please get vaccinated. The vaccinations and the good news on most of the other health numbers um, are the things that are going to take us to the brighter days uh, and to the summer that we're looking forward to and to patios being open and to stores being more open and generally just getting back to life as normal. So we want to work hard at that. Thank you very much.